Okay, so the next part is going to be the head unit of the arbalist. And I did see that there were the parts here that gives you that little um, the, the scene where he's holding the blade with his mouth, you could say. We'll, we'll try that out in a few moments. Now, I, for, for obvious reasons, I, I put on the, the little uh, eyes, sticker eyes, just for now, until we flush this out a bit. But if I'm seeing this right, you're supposed to stick these parts here. Um, hang on a second. So that's that. And that goes like that. And pull that out a bit so you can see the eyes. Alright. Then we take the yellow part here. No, it's not this yellow part. It's this part. Um, wait a minute. Am I looking at this? No, it's the yellow part also. Alright, so it's this part, and I think it has to be in this position. There we go. I'm sorry. I just couldn't tell. It goes right under this. Alright, so it goes like that. And then this part goes behind it. Well, this part goes here. Okay. Then we take this part that goes there. This part that goes here. Then we have the then we have this part that goes like this. Then this part that goes there. So, now you have the choice of putting on these two parts here, which I'm about to do right now. Ah, they're very, very small, so you gotta be very careful with this. So put that there. Put this here. So it looks like this. Of course, if you remove them, very careful with them, and they don't disappear on you. you be very careful. Oh, there they are. Okay. Then we have the blade that goes this way. So it looks like that. You can barely see the eyes, but then, because this thing is actually covering it up, and as neat as this is, I'm not going to use. I'm right now. I'm just leaving it there, for so you guys could see it. But I'm not going to utilize it because it's too big. I can barely even see the eyes. The judges are going to be having saying, "Where the hell is the eyes? What the hell is this in his face?" So yeah, I'm omitting this. It, it's cool. It's a cool gimmick to have it if you want to simulate that part. Um. If this was a bigger scale kit, like a, let's say a 132nd scale or 148, the this part would have been like an attachment where where it can come out and open and close. Because you can see there's the little notches there that's supposed to come out to grab the blade, supposedly. But I'm going to leave it the way it is. And yes, um, I'm going to have to take this whole thing apart because there's a lot of parts here. And I'm going to have to paint the eyes because the, it doesn't look right. All right, that part is done. Let's now move on to the next part of the build. All right, so now we're going to work on the arms of the arbalist. Here are all the parts. Begin with this guy here, the joint. Uh, put that here, like so. And put that here, like so. 
I am noticing something here which I'm going to take care of right now. Alright. So that part is done. Then this part. I'm mm, going to keep it in this position. Followed by this part, it goes like so. And this part, it goes like so. Alright, and just so, and I'm thinking that this is one part that I'm not going to take a part of so I can paint all at one time. But take this, then take this. Put that here, like that. Put this one here, like that. And this goes there. There we go. Okay. That completes... Well, no. Does not complete it. Then you have this part. And this part that goes there. Oh god, there's going to be a lot of parts for me to take apart, now that I'm realizing this. Alright, so that's done. And then we take this part, and then we slide that down here. Make sure it goes all the way in. Uh, it doesn't snap in, unfortunately. This just slides in, so... You know, be mindful of that. You, clearly, when if it's painted, it's going to probably get stuck in there, so that's good. Now... The next part is the shoulder part, the, the joints for the shoulder. Make sure that this is there in this position. There's a little notch there, so it has to face downwards. And then you take this and stick it in there. Now, I kind of question this part, and I'll explain that in a minute once I put this in here. Get in there. This is very loose to be a little heads up on that. Then we take this, and then the yellow trim parts. Put it in like that. And then we take this part here. Stick that in there, like so. Take this part here, stick that here, like so. Now, yeah, this is where things look a little weird. Now we put this one over this. I didn't clean it up, so don't worry, it'll be cleaned up later on. So this sticks out like that. At one point you think, oh, I must have, um, it must go inside the part here. Because there are these two little notches there. But no, it's supposed to be sticking outwards. So that's technically normal. Now take this, put that in here. So it's like that, followed by this part that goes there, and this part that goes right on top of it, like that. And then we have the two side trim parts here. There. And then finally, Stick that in all the way in. There we go. Alright. So the arms of the arbalist is now complete. Again, a lot of parts here. So it does at least give you the option to remove the parts and and paint them up individually, like I just noticed with the torso and the head. Um, it's also a little loose. Normal, here's not no big deal. That's actually not a big deal. And this part which goes in there, clearly when it's painted, it's going to be either stuck on or glued on, however you want to do it. Just this area is a little loosey-goosey on both ends. Just to give you a heads up on this. Alright, with this part being done, let's now move on to the next part of the build. Alright, so the next part is going to be the legs of the arbalist. These are all the parts that mix it up. Uh, 
let's begin with this guy right here followed by this part that goes there and this there are two holes there uh, I don't want to push it in all the way because I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have a hard time popping it out but we'll just get it there as best as possibly can alright we'll just think leave it there for now now we take this, follow by this, connect that here, then bring it on top of this. There we go. Now I have to pull this down like that, and then take this part slide that in like that and then I think I had to push that in anyway sorry and then we take him put that there take this poly cap put it there like so and then before we seal this up, we take this part, flip it around, put it in like that, and then put that like that. Then we have this trim part that goes here in the back. Well, this part here goes in the front, the other way. No, I was right, this one. So it goes like this, and then you can bring that heel back up. So this lower part of the leg is done. Put this to the, oh, we also have this part that goes there. All right, put this to the side. Now, we need this, followed by this that goes there. And this part that goes here. We have this part that goes here, and then this part that goes like that. Now, this part goes there, and then this one goes right on top of that, like so. Then you turn this around. Actually, I got it this this way. Whoops. Hmm. Hold on. Better remember how I did this the last time. So let me put this one on first. That goes there. That one goes there, and I believe that goes like that over there. Why am I? Oh, why are you not going in? Am I doing this right or wrong or whatever? All right, now it went through. Just took a minute to figure this out. Again, this part doesn't go all the way in, and I don't know if I'm doing it right or wrong, but it seems to be because it doesn't seem to be that that way but all right so we put the legs here and there you go the very skinny and a lot of part legs are now complete complete and uh, very well detailed I might add I see a scar mark that I need to clean up but that's okay that's easy Again, a lot of parts to take apart so I can repaint them. All right, and then of course I had to spend a lot of time sanding down this part because there's a seam line that goes right through there, which I had to take care of. Uh, but other than that, still nice. Looks very nice. Okay, let's move on to the next part of the build.